do you want to show uh, Joe some of your curation? Fuck yeah, I do. Joe, are you familiar with TikTok? I'm familiar with. I'm not on TikTok, which well, I guess is a big career mistake. I know that's what everyone tells me. I suck. Especially your new special. If you can yeah, you chop, chop it up, up. Put on I there. I know. Should. I know. I really. I got mental problems. Okay. Yeah. Well, I, I like to. Well, if you have mental problems, this is the <laughs> segment for you. <laughs> I like to show the outliers in the TikTok community. Mm-hmm. Hey guys. Um, oh no. Update. I didn't get the job. <laughs> I just got the email. Um, I'm guessing my appearance had a lot to do with it. Yeah. No. Just for people listening, her appearance is her entire almost upper part of her face is tattooed in. Yeah. yeah Fully like a, tattooed in. Like yeah. Batman mask. Yeah. Almost. Not like a design. It's just tattoo ink. <laughs> It's just like when an ink, like a pen just breaks on you. <laughs> it's just that on her face. Yeah. It's a real crazy thing. And what a bummer that she didn't get the job. What do you think the job was that she was applying for? There's not a lot. There's a lot of jobs where they would be like, nah. Right away. Customer service, sight unseen. Sight un- you could be in a back room somewhere. Yeah, that's true. That could be a job for her. Working the phones. Yeah, yeah. dude. You don't know what she looks like. Sure. Sex yeah. worker, phone sex worker. Oh, phone mm. sex. Yeah. I was thinking more like... 1-800, you know, could you help me <laughs> fix my television? Yeah, yeah, like a stock yeah, girl, boy, <laughs> yeah. person. She can work in a warehouse. Yeah. yeah. Only fans? Maybe there's a, an audience for this? There is an audience, for sure. Is that, for sure audience? that's somebody's favorite thing. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on a cake with a tattoo on your face? <laughs> yeah. This semen sample came all the way from Whoa. Australia. I would try to do the accent, but I really can't. Okay. Anywho, our client ordered a beautiful single pearl necklace off the website, and we got their sample um, mm. in the mail. Oh, now Jesus. we just have to take oh. the liquid Why is it watery? And into a powder that's workable with the clay. We have a special little concoction that we oh mix it with. Oh, my God. She's going to make me throw up. to dry uh, for it to turn into the powder. Is and that what we'll happens to come if you leave teaspoon, it? So not a lot. Because it came such a long way from Australia to Canada... Um, as you can tell, the viscosity and the coloring um, did change a little bit. However, with our process, um, we are able to get it, it back to a little bit more of a natural coloring. That looks like Always cum. with a little bit of sparkle added. Once it's completely dried and we're able to grind it into a super fine powder, <laughs> that's Annie, when I'm able feeling, to Annie? incorporate it into clay, <laughs> shape out the pieces that we want. <laughs> now, pieces are completely oh. sealed when they're done. Not only to give it a really <laughs> nice gloss finish, but also as a level of protection as well. And of course, I have some extras for some freebies. <laughs> so would you... Do something like this for your wife, like a nice necklace or earrings? Yeah, maybe. I mean, a ring, maybe. Yeah. (laughs) A nice cum ring. Would you like that? (laughs) I would love to have your... Cum earrings? Of course. I love you. I've made babies with your cum. Yeah, that's true. Your jizz is part of my DNA now. You want want the earrings? Oh, where'd you get those earrings? Well, actually, my (laughs) husband shot a load into a cup. (laughs) And then we sent it to these lovely people Canada. in Canada. Yeah. Well, that one came all the way from Australia. I think you guys are grossed out because it, it no. oxidized uh, and no. changed color. It was like yellow liquid. Yeah, it looked like melted butter. That's because not the part so that grossed long. me out. Maybe yeah. if you overnighted it, it wouldn't be so yellow. Yeah, why'd you have to be so cheap with your cum <laughs> earrings? You couldn't overnight it? DHL, buddy? The earrings made of cum are literally less gross <laughs> to me than the yellow liquid male cum. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> God. I love how upset you So you are. may have seen this video going around. Oh, hell yeah. This hair tattoo. I'm guessing now it he'll get the job. $200. And in this case, this is what a $2,000 hair tattoo looks like. Oh, wow. I would say probably worth it. <laughs> wow. Which one are you going for, Tom? I think I would go for the 200 I like the, I'd like that the illusion that I have some hair. I like mm. it a lot. It looks so believable <laughs> <laughs> and cool. Uh, looks like it was done with pen. Yeah. And that is amazing. Like, okay, man, uh, you know, you got some, you got gel in your hair? What, what's going on? Well, also, they didn't brush it. Like, when I brush our boy's hair, yeah, yeah. you get a brush and it's unbrushed. It's a cool it's illusion. <laughs> I like that this is the $200 version and then this is two grand. Well, and so two also, grand just makes it look like you, you have a day's of stubble. But also, the, the $200 one, it looks like a Stasi haircut. Like, why is it like but Hitler? I know. Youth? It's so, it's so <laughs> fucking, it's so insane. <laughs> No. Why are you getting It looks like that? a cartoon from the 30s, right? Like, it, really <laughs> it really does. does. Yeah. Yeah. You got Steamboat Willie hair. Yeah. It's so. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. Bonkers. At least make him. <laughs> like, they should, I want to see this guy's face more clearly so I can know how completely insane this man <laughs> is. Yeah. They cut right before they show you the craziest guy on the planet. <laughs> but 
but also, <laughs> isn't this kind of crazy? That's amazing. So that looks it, good. But that looks it looks good. But real. like, would you do that? Would no. you go? I have tattooed stubble. It's kind of a Eddie. No. You have a bald head. Would you do this? Fuck no. Why? And tell me why. Uh, I mean, I bet it doesn't look good in certain situations yeah. too. You know, like a glare or something would make it look weird as fuck. Yeah, it's just. Nah, man. Nah. Also, all that just for that? Like, there's no other option you could have? Right. Just the stubble? Yeah. That's a lot you of You can't pain. shave it now. <laughs> yeah. But this guy looks acceptable. But yeah, you can never shave it, and you could just get a wig. I mean, yeah. a, a wig or a piece. Or this right here. I mean, this is actually... His natural stubble is probably close to this. Yeah. Right. You know? I'm not sure why you would do this. Why? Like, if I don't shave for a couple of days you know it's it's a version of this well, <laughs> you can yeah, just do that you've got a widow's peak maybe you could fill in the widow's peak you know with mm-hmm. tattoo <laughs> yeah you're right all right i'll do this you can just convince me <laughs> sold sold so this is called a subdermal implant it sits oh, right here on the hand hey. um there should be a hole right here but they're still swelling it should go down within a week or two um, i don't like that it's horrible just sits right in there mm. incision is right there ah what is that? Subdermal implant. What is that? So they put in, I'm assuming it's a form of plastic or something that you can put under the layer of skin so that Sometimes it just they put creates. put it in their foreheads and their face so it gives the illusion that like something's a horn you know, or just some, growing something. in there. Just for fun? It's yeah. a body modification. I mean, look at, she's got face tattoos, forehead, teeth are pretty <laughs> oh, wild. Yeah. Eye, either eye tattoos or contacts. Now, That's... do you think she's normal in bed? Do <laughs> you think it's just regular? She's like, yeah, just... I like doggy style. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like this. This is bumming me out. Is this is a real person? She's yeah, this is like a real a, thing. Like yeah, a yeah, small yeah. tit yeah. in her hand. Lizard person. Yeah, yeah. She's got tit hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Puffy, and she's like the swelling will go down. God. That's wild, dude. Yeah. It's I, also. I mean, not is that not dangerous? There you go. To fuck with. Ugh. Subdermal. Yeah. So that makes it look like they're Klingons and shit, and yeah. Wow. Silicone. I like the spider one. That's kind of cool. Now, is this the dark web? Is this considered the dark web? <laughs> Look at that spider TikTok, one. Buddy. So it looks like there's a fucking tarantula That's cool under your shit. skin. That's cool shit. I'm going to do Kinda. that. Kind of. That one makes at least sense. Yeah, it's, like a fa- it's like, whoa, look at that. Yeah. These ones kind of make more sense to me than... I like the oof. ones that get like the, the horns here, like little devil horns. Like They're right. kind of cool. He's yeah, that guy's cool. cool. thing going on. Okay. Like that, you think he got the job? <laughs> <laughs> They called him and they're like, guess what, man? Good news. Wait a minute. Could you do this to your dick to make your dick look bigger? You always bring it up. I think so. Like a sheath of transdermal or whatever, subdermal. Like, Leland, I'm just trying to help the community of men that have small dicks. Uh-huh. Yeah, I think could so. Could they do that? I think you can make it ridged too. That yeah, might feel you nice. That might feel really Rib nice. Rib for yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Bro. Put these bumps in there. In your dick. Yeah. Well, there you go. Great idea for your lady for her birthday or for Christmas this year. Wow. Just get a dick implant. Why not? <laughs> Very good suggestion. I like the idea of getting the ribs on there. That's yeah. kind of cool. It would feel like you have, you're have you having a toy. Right? Oh, look. There it is. Oh, My shit. My dick looked like that for a period, but yeah. uh, I got it laser. Penile off. pearls. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What, what? And there's a lot of uh, images that are, they're not even able to see. Can we, uh, can we unblock? Oh boy, I'm a little nervous. <gasps> oh, right. Okay. Oh. They pull oh. back the dick skin, bro. They cut off the dick yeah. skin. They pull. No, I want to see it. And this... they put the implant Can this under go on the dick skin. YouTube. Oh, it's educational. Right. This is educational. Yes, Yo. I'm learning a lot. Let's it's see like the next skinny, video. So we're good now, and we're gonna move it yeah. along. This is your red dick. I have no sociopath, and people don't believe it until I discard them. Just because I'm aware of my disorder doesn't mean I don't mess up. I have a tendency to get excited when I meet new people and end up love bombing them. These are the kinds of people I probably wouldn't talk to on the street, but I get blinded by the narc supply. I literally talk about my personality all the time on social media and people are still surprised when I act like a sociopath. I don't realize my own importance in their lives, so when I drop them, they get angry and I get confused. Since I don't think it's a big deal, I don't think they should think it's a big deal. I can't put myself in your shoes, so no, I don't understand every time. My genuine friends still get worried that I'll drop them, but they don't understand the lengths I would go to to protect them. To my audience, is it my fault if they get obsessed, or should I be more self-aware? 
Her no nose blinking. looks like an outlet. Like it looks like you could charge your phone in there. <laughs> and no blinking. No blinks. No. Yeah. No, she's really interesting. A lot of makeup. I mean, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's fascinating. She tells you like the tips and tricks of a sociopath, how to infiltrate male friend groups to get the guy to like you, stuff like that. She's really, really informative. Really cool. Wow. She's a very cool person. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'd you like, for showing us. I'd like to spend some time with her. Yeah. But she'd be lovely to connect with. And here's your last one. Let's hope oh. it's a nice one. <laughs> to spot other swingers in public, if you're at a restaurant, <laughs> if you're at a bar, if you're out downtown, how do you spot and know that other people are swingers and how do you go up and say hello to them or Please. approach them? You don't. You don't. Majority of swingers out there are very discreet. This is a lifestyle that we add a little bit of added spiciness into our relationships. This is not our entire life. So when people are out in public, most people don't want to be known that they're swingers. Most people don't want to be approached that they're swingers. So when it comes down to meeting others and approaching others, the really appropriate place to do it is at lifestyle clubs or at meet and greets. But when you see people who are out in public and you think that they might be a swinger. I like the, uh, the softening of the language. Yeah. Meet and greets, lifestyle. lifestyle. You mean fuck parties? Yeah, they're just horny. They're so horny. <laughs> you mean fuck parties with other savages? You fucking hound. I know. Swinger, <laughs> just to approach them can be very offending because, again, most people oh. in this lifestyle they don't broadcast Why, it to everybody. It it's lifestyle? not like CrossFit where everybody knows that lifestyle. you're a swinger. No, most people enjoy their normal life, and every now and then they have a little bit of added and they put fun. A little spiciness so remember that next on time it. that you're out in public and you think someone may be a swinger or not. You go, hey, you want to fuck? Like that. <laughs> That's how you do it. But the pineapple is the universal sign That's for right. that he's wearing on his head. And yeah. making TikToks. Well, he's also else. Professor Pineapple. Is that right? Yeah, I mean, that's his handle. Oh. Yeah. He the like, Professor Pineapple 1.0. He talks with his hands way too much in the videos. It thoroughly irritates me. <laughs> and he's too wordy, but he does give valuable information about the lifestyle. Yeah, well, I'd love to meet you at a club. Maybe we could fuck, sir. God. Maybe you could be my partner for the evening. Joe, are you a swinger? Uh, no, I'm not a swinger, but I did go to um, Palm Springs, and there's a lot of swinging there. And my wife and I watched like a B movie called Palm Swings right before we went. Nice. And uh, Tia Carrera, is that how you say it? Yeah. yeah Tia Carrera, she's in it. Oh. And uh, it's a really fun, funny movie because right. it's it's kind of like softcore porn and it has a fun plot. But I thought they really missed an opportunity to put some levity in there. They all put their keys in a fishbowl and then yeah. they pick it out. And there should have been a moment where someone gets like a really fat asshole yeah for sure you know but everyone was like really hot but i feel like in real life swingers no, yeah it's not it's so not much the, that's the fantasy the fantasy is that they're that all that hot yeah then you go and you see the real ones and you're like oh right yeah. <laughs> great film though palm yeah. swings yeah. highly yeah. recommend hey carrera smoke show <laughs> You just watched a YMH highlight. Did you love it? Why don't you have more fun? Click around. Click here. Click there. Click everywhere. Put a clicker in your b-hole. Look. Trot out. Have more fun. Why don't you subscribe? That way, every time a video drops, you can be notified. You don't have to think about it. Just do it, man. You're not going to miss a moment of denim. Pull your jeans up. Subscribe.